Hey everyone, today we wanted to go over Raven's Vortex Cooler just to make everybody aware of the product, what it's all about, what's going on. So, um, first things first, Raven had originally had their AccuFlow system, which was a threaded ports on both sides for your inlet and inlet, inlet and outlet for the coolers. And all we're doing is just trying to strip off vapor from, from the anhydrous. So that way you get a more calculable uh, flow through the flow meter, that way you know exactly what you're putting on. It's a lot closer than just letting the vapor go through as well. So. All the cooler system does is strip off vapor to turn it into a, hopefully a pure based liquid running through the system to be measured. So what we wanted to do is just go over this a little bit more in depth, the differences between what you would see between the old cooler and now the Vortex cooler. Vortex cooler has been out for a couple years. Uh, they just started really implementing it in the last year or so to where you had to replace your old coolers with the Vortex cooler. So we're just gonna go over a few things just so you kind of got an idea of what we've got going on here. Uh, first things first, internally, you can't see it, but internally, instead of just having straight tubes, now they put like a, what I'll call an auger type uh, uh, assembly on it. So what it's doing is trying to make that anhydrous kind of swirl through the system, help with the separation of that vapor off the anhydrous. Um, what a lot of the stuff you're gonna see on the exterior side um, instead of having like an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter thread here at the inlet side, now it's two inch. And then here on the outlet side, this was normally female threaded as well. Now they've got what I call a Victolic fitting. So what it's gonna be is a two piece clamp that would actually hold all your fittings in place for the bottom side. And that also ties into a lot with the HP Plus system, which is a totally different system itself. Um, the other thing I'll point out on the older coolers, a lot of your threads here have been three quarter. Now these are one inch. So you may have to reduce down, put a reducer bushing in it or something like that. Um, same way with the inlet side, you may have to take that from a two inch down to maybe inch and a quarter or inch and a half to get it matched up well to what your system is now. Um, then you just got your refrigerant line still, that's still the same, nothing's really changed there. We'll go to the back side of the cooler. And what you're gonna see here, um, you got your regular port here. This is always for if you want to know what your pressure was in the cooler. You just throw a little pressure sensor in there, which is available through Raven. And then this port here is mainly for like your HP Plus systems or a Vortex system, like a complete system where you can actually bleed that down. Uh, would be all an internal bleed. So you have some valves and some other hose. And what it would do is run back up into the cooler and then go out through your vapor lines down to the knife. So there's nothing evaporating into the air. Helps basically, in a, in a sense, it's helping bleed down the system a whole lot faster and safer. So, just wanted to go over the cooler a little bit with you. If you got any other questions on it, you can go on sloneyx.com. Or if you have other questions you need answered in person, you can call us at our 800 934 9777 number.